Hi everyone, this is Ken from Indigo Collab. So in this day and age, because of recent developments with the health crisis, at the same time, the technological advances, everyone seems to be go doing uh, webinars or online learning or doing podcasts. And you might also be interested in doing the same, but you don't know how. So today, I'm going to teach you how to stream or to record your Zoom conversations with backgrounds. So I'm using a software called OBS. So you just have to go to your browser and search for OBS. All right. So it's the first thing that comes out. It's called Open Broadcaster Software. So just click on it and then click whatever you're using. So I'm using Windows. So I click it and then it will automatically download itself. So just save it. Um, and go through the installation process. Now, obviously, I've done it in the past, so I won't go through it, but it's very simple, it's very straightforward, Just so just go through it, okay? So once you're, once you're in OBS, it will look like something like this. So what you can see here is the black screen, right? So the black screen here is basically what your OBS will record or stream. So what we're gonna do is add a uh, add things here that you want to to broadcast or you want to record so if we we are doing zoom and we want to add zoom in the in the black screen what we're gonna do is right click and then click add and then you have two options one option is the display capture or the second option is window capture now the difference between the two uh, display capture records everything that's on your screen so whether you go to um, uh, Chrome to Firefox to um, to your PowerPoint presentation or you choose files in your desktop it will record everything so if you're doing a tutorial like this one that could be a good option for you but if you're just gonna stream or record your zoom conversation you might as well just specific, uh, choose specifically zoom so that's here in window capture okay so we just click OK for this one Okay. So as you can see, the first time, um, it's, it's just a white screen, so that means uh, Zoom didn't work. Um, so what we're going to do is just double click this one, and then it says here, Capture Method. Um, this should be using Windows Graphics. There. Okay, so as you can see, um, I'm already capturing my Zoom conversation. Uh, because I... So this means you all, yeah, you should do your Zoom, uh, you should launch your Zoom conversation beforehand. Now, one trick, of course, you don't want to be setting up, setting this up before your actual meeting. So what you can do is just create a, a dummy, dummy Zoom conversation beforehand, and then um, and then set it up uh, like what I'm doing now before your actual Zoom call, and just leave the settings here. Um, you don't have to save anything in OBS. The last, the last settings that, that's going to be shown here, uh, and if you close OBS, that will be exactly what you will, uh, you will see again the next time you open OBS. Okay, so now it's recording my Zoom conversation. But what if, let's say, I want to do, I want to have graphics so that to make it cool, to make my Zoom call cooler, like I, I want a background, let's say I want uh, an image or a video background. Uh, so what we're gonna do is just click add in the in the black screen. So first, uh, what we're gonna do is um, crop because uh, this one captures everything in my Zoom call. So let, as you can see here in Zoom, it has a black background. But I want to eliminate the, the these settings, the mute, security. I just want the videos. Uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, crop everything else. So the way to crop is you click Alt, click Alt in your keyboard, and then go here to to the to the squares, to the red squares, and then just drag it. What I like to do is click uh, create separate um, separate videos or separate boxes per per person. So for example, here in, in the person that I'm talking to, I just create a separate box for it there and then so to add myself back I just have to create another source I 
click add and then just go through the same process again window capture and then capture method use windows graphics there okay and then i click alt again and drag so that it only shows my face okay everything clear so far okay now what I, uh, now what if you want to have uh, cool graphics in your in your webinar or your zoom uh, your zoom streaming um, you want text whatever so you have to click uh, the black screen here again and add those graphics okay so how do you do that um, you just have to right click um, and then you click add again and it depends um, if your background is an image you click image okay and then click OK and then here image file it lets you browse your files so I keep my favorite image in a folder separate folder so I just click on this okay now as you can see um, the image since the the image is the last um, the last thing that I added in my uh, in the black screen it's it's in front of the the videos earlier so what you're gonna do is go to the sources here. It says image, window capture, window capture. So you have to put it at the back. So you just have to drag this down. Right, voila, there it is. But now what I like to do so that it's not boring, I put um, videos. So you can also put videos instead of, uh, instead of uh, just graphics. So I'm gonna delete this. So I just click this and click delete. Click remove, yes. Okay, so to add a video, let's say you already have a video, okay? Let's say you already have a video. So I just click on the media source. I click OK. I browse through my files again. Um, and I have this cool graphics that I already have from the past. Okay, and then I just drag this so that I just drag this so it's captures my entire screen and then once again go to your sources and then make it behind uh, the, the videos okay everything cool so far so I, what I also like to do is click up uh, add likes or title of what I'm doing so once again I just right click and then I click add and then I click um, uh, I look for text there you go Okay, so here you have option for fonts. Um, let's say uh, this one. Let's say I just choose the, this one. It really depends on what you want to do. So, and then here in the text part, this is where you write your text. Okay. There. So this is the usual setup I do when I do uh, webinars or um, or Zoom conversations. If I want to record Zoom conversations, now um, of course uh, you want it to have like dy dynamics. You want to create um, different uh, different scenes. Um, let's say you want to focus on the person talking. So what? we're gonna do is just go here to scenes as you can see I already made um, scenes before um, but for the interest of this tutorial I'm gonna create another scene so let's say I want this exact um, this exact um, settings but I want to it just be me and not have the person I'm talking to so what I'm gonna do is click the scene that we just created which is called scene 1 and then I click duplicate and then let's say I want guest. Okay, click guest. I click OK. And here, so we're already in guest. So I delete myself. All right, and then I drag the guest to make himself bigger. There. And of course, I also want to focus on myself. So I go back to scene one. Um, 
I and then I click duplicate again. Um, and then I say me. Okay. So here, um, I'm gonna click my guest video. Okay, and then make myself bigger. Okay. Now, um, another thing when we're doing webinars, of course, we also want um, standby, let's say standby image, like a thumbnail before you want to, before you start. So when you do, when you do start your webinar, you want it to start with, with just the thumbnail rather than the conversation right away. So we click another scene, we create here, we add. So let's add the thumbnail. Just click add and just say, um, Start. Starting. So this is another scene. So here we we just add let's say a thumbnail. Uh, so we click image. Click OK. Then browse. Uh, and then let's say I use this as my thumbnail. So I just need to stretch this out. Okay. okay, so once I'm ready with everything, um, uh, it depends on you if you really do want to do streaming or you want to just record it and um, do a premiere. Now, when, when you're doing live streaming, um, there are pros and cons. Live streaming, of course, um, you can interact to, the, to your viewers, but this also requires um, a lot of bandwidth from your internet so you need to have fast and quick internet when you're doing streaming and of course uh, you can't make mistakes but let's say you just record uh, it's easier when you record because you can edit afterwards let's say you already know editing and of course it doesn't uh, require fast that fast internet because you can record yourself you can record your entire conversation first and then um, and then upload it on on Facebook or wherever. So the first option is um, you recording the conversation first. Okay, so how do you do that? You, you need to go to your starting image, right? And then you click start recording. So once it starts recording, it already records everything that you wanted. And then if you want to switch to a scene, let's say to the conversation, you just click this one, right? And then you want to click to your guest, click this one and then you want to click uh, to yourself click this one so you can switch scenes whatever whichever okay and then once you're done you just click stop recording and then it will automatically go to your videos folder or if not just check your settings check your settings um, and then output and then here it says where your videos are okay so let's say, just to check that it recorded, go to your folders, go to your videos, so it's here. This is what we recorded right here. So once it starts recording, it already records everything that you wanted. And then, um, okay, so if you want to do streaming, you have to go to your Facebook account. You want to go to your Facebook account and then um, it depends if you want to stream it on your um, set on your personal page or your the pages that you created or let's say you want to go to a group so just click group uh, so just click the group that you want to do your live okay so and then you go here on what's on your mind click this one okay and then you have your options. So click more and then click live video. Okay. And then, okay, so here in stream, you have the option to use stream key, use camera, or use pair encoder. So for OBS, what we use is use stream key. 
okay so use stream key and then go to the stream key here you can just copy this one go to your OBS and then click settings and then click the stream option the stream key here so delete whatever is in there first and then you paste what you just copied earlier and then click OK and then once you're ready to stream you just click start streaming instead of start recording so it should appear here okay so you click start streaming okay so a common a common mistake that people make is when they click start streaming they think they're already streaming because they can see on this side there's already a video um, that's still not going live um, so if you're you're doing Facebook once you click start streaming you should click go live button here okay and then just go live so it's starting so once you click that that means you're already doing your live after this <laughs> all right so see this one is already streaming and then let's say you want to click uh, you want to change scenes you just uh, you want to go to the main talk just click scene one and then you want to focus on your guest click guest or you want to click me and then so you can just shift scenes and then once you're done uh, just click stop streaming and then end live video so as you can see you can view your post here so you see it's starting so once you click that that means you're all right so basically that's it um if you want to learn more if you have questions um just type in the comment section below um if you like what i did um, click the thumbs up thumbs up below and subscribe to this channel thank you